Um, Tony, commiserations on the defeat tonight. Took a wicked deflection for Brisbane to break you down. Mm -hmm. What did you make of the entire performance from your whole side across the 90? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the deflection aside, I think that, that can happen. And unfortunately, that's happening a little bit for us at the moment on the defensive end. Um, but look, they uh, came with a game plan. We uh, didn't really create enough, to be honest. Um, we had a couple of moments, good moments. Just uh, We just needed that goal to change the rhythm and the momentum of the game. Um, we're in control without creating enough, which is probably uh, the issue issue tonight. And then, um, you know, that, that kind of follows you a little bit when you're not top of your game with the ball in the final third, that is. Um, that, you know, those deflections go in and, um, you know, you can see that one or two opportunities that an opponent has, uh, they go in. Mm. Switch things up again tonight. A few players played in different positions than what we've normally seen from mm. them. Obviously, the end result wasn't there this time around. Do mm. you feel like you're getting closer to figuring out how you're going to get start creating these high-quality chances week in and week out? Yeah, we have to, and I've got to take that responsibility. It's my job. <laughs> I'm the head coach here at a big, big football club, and um, that's my responsibility. So it, it lies on me. Um, and that's what that's what I have to do with the coaching staff and the players. And um, look, it was good to see Jason Garrier coming back to more of uh, the Jason we remember. You know, that's four consecutive games. Uh, we need Spiro and Roddy to find that as well. Uh, and I think once we find that, that'll give us a lot more stability uh, at the back. They really struggled, Roddy and Spiro, in the last 20 minutes. But um, fortunately, you can't take them take them off. But um, yeah, that, that's 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 a part of it. And, and in the front third, we need to we need to find that mojo back again. You know, we we're not scoring goals, but we've in two games we've scored a four and a three, so it's there. It's just uh, we've got to find it. We've got to unlock it, uh, and that's what uh, it's my responsibility to do that. And um, you know, we we've got to get back next week and, and find that way. A couple of changes tonight. We saw Nick return up front, but we mm. also saw Josh deployed in a bit different role yep. on the right of a back five. He's played there. He's played at right back before. What was your reasoning behind putting him there tonight? I was more the you know we wanted to play with a three. Um, you know Brisbane played with a three as well, so um, we, we matched up in that. Josh has got the running power for it. Uh, we wanted to control the middle with Ray and Jakey, which we did. Uh, but unfortunately, when we penetrated the lines, we, we didn't go quick enough uh, to exploit the spaces. So um, we lacked a bit of the, the speed when we had the opportunities to really go at them. And um, you know, that's something we have to really look at uh, and try and get that back in our game. Just we saw Nani come off, right? or he didn't come off, because obviously he used his subs and yep. that, but he sort of really hobbled off when the game finished after that clash of legs with, mm. with Chapman. Is there, Sort of any update there? Is he all right? Any um, I don't know. I think he's, you know, as I was coming here, he was walking out of the medical room. But, um, you know, when I looked at it on the replay, it didn't look great. So um, uh, hopefully it's uh, not too bad. You expect him to have to go for scans or anything? or is it? I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I, re I really don't know. I'll, I'll probably know a little bit more when we speak to the doctor when I get out of here. But, um, you know, they just finished a full assessment on him. And, uh, you know, ho hoping for the best there, definitely. And Chris, um, how long do you think you're going to be without him for? No, he'll be right next week. He'll be right. It's um, it's unfortunate for him that you know we're probably a day or two short really from him being able to play. He didn't train with the group. He trained yesterday. Felt really good. You know, if we could have had another one or two training sessions, um, I'm sure he could have been available. And just still on, Nani seems to he seems to be getting closer and closer to that goal. Um, I mean, he's obviously one one of the great players, but do you still have to have to you know, have a chat to him just to keep his confidence up? You know, so so close, but so far, I guess. Yeah, I think he's he's like any player. You know, it's um, you know, especially attacking players when they find their rhythm and find the goals, it just seems to flow. Uh, and he's had a wonderful career of doing that. So uh, it's, and I'm sure he's had ups and downs throughout his whole career. And um, you know, he's had a wonderful career for a reason because he always finds a way. So, um, you know, it's, uh, he's not finding the back of the net, unfortunately, for him and for us. Um, but, um, you yeah, know, we've got to keep working and, and try and find a way that he can do that. Just obviously, early today, a few more fans 
um, received bans. Are you hoping that you know the investigation is coming towards and then you can sort of finally get resolution um, sooner rather than later? I think ever, ever, everyone wants that, and um, you know the, the club's been working extremely hard behind the scenes, um, you know, to, to, to make sure that uh, it, it's it's clear, there's clarity on on the way things will go moving forward. And it was nice to see some members back in today. Uh, we've missed that. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't send them off uh, home happy tonight. But um, you know, we'll work hard on uh, making sure we we can improve and, and get the results again. I guess there are obviously a few boos on, on the final whistle. Can you, just, can you sort of sense the frustration from the fans at the moment? It's, yeah, given what's going on. It's normal. Yeah. And, and, and you've got to expect that. And um, you know, we, we can't expect them to be cheering us off the park when um, you know, we, we lost a game at home. And um, you know, so I understand their frustration. I share their frustration. But uh, um, certainly we're working hard next week to make sure that we can turn this around. And just aside from that, any, any other fitness or injury concerns to come out from tonight? At the moment, I, I don't believe so. So um, hopefully that doesn't change. Tony, I know the game tonight will have been the main focus, but we're about to see the transfer window open. Um, are you expecting to be, to be getting busy in that time? Uh, I don't believe so. I, I don't believe so. I think um, you know, the, the squad that we have, we, we have at the moment, and um, you know, we, we have a good squad. We have a good squad. We have good footballers. Uh, it can happen that you can be a bit down on confidence uh, and maybe belief when things don't go quite your way. Uh, but they're good players, and, and I'm sure it will turn. Um, but without working hard, <laughs> it's not going to change. Uh, if we feel sorry for ourselves, it's not going to change. We have to accept where we're at. Um, as a football club, we expect more. Uh, I take the responsibility of that role proudly. And, uh, and I'll be proud to, to help the club and work hard to turn this around. Are you hopeful that you know, the, the eventual return of fans will maybe even help boost the players a bit when they're out there, provide a bit more atmosphere and get a bit of energy and that sort of thing from that avenue as well? I think when you've got the best members and fans in the league, uh, you always miss them. <laughs> you know, they're the best by far uh, for a reason. Uh, but we, we, we can't use that as an excuse though. You know, that's, a, that's a real positive welcome to have them with us. Um, but you know, we've got to make sure that you know, the football side of it, that we take care, care, take care of that first and uh, hopefully those numbers will grow and we'll get them back in the stadium soon cheering us on.